And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today, we are going to be looking at the newest expansion for Quarriers, Quarmageddon! <laughs> oh, I don't know that people are going to shout we at Quarmageddon, but <laughs> we're glad for Quarmageddon for a couple reasons. One, the box now holds all the dice really well. This is a new storage box. You can get rid of the, it was a cool tin that the original game came in, but this is a good replacement for it. And it adds 40 new dice with more monsters and more spells, some more stuff, and a couple of advanced rules. Well, before anything else, we should need to talk about the storage because that's the main reason a lot of people are going to like the game. You can see how all the dice are in here. Nice, neat, organized things held in by a piece of plastic. Uh, now, you can see it's all full, and I even have some of the white dice, the basic quiddity dice out here. However, I suppose I could pull all these rows right here, if, and I could put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will likely be close to the number of dice in the next expansion. So. I'm not even sure though where I'd put these basic quiddity dice. I could maybe fit them in here. This is great, don't get me wrong, great, love it. Uh, I was hoping that it'd be a little bit more rows for future expansions, like maybe had they done a double level one where I could fit in twice as many dice, but whatever. Either way, this is still great. And you can sort it out any way you want. I try to do mine by colors here. See, white, the yellow, the green, the blue, the purple, the red, the black and brown. Okay. But let's talk now about the specific things that are found in this set. Let's start by looking at the spells. Now this is a nice spell because it has that draw two on that you like. Uh, and there's some, this one here is good for capturing spells and things. Uh, it's, it's not the best of the spells, but this one I do like a lot. Where you can rotate, you basically can use it to upgrade the levels of your creatures that are out there. That's a very handy spell to have, and when this one's out there, I, I try to get this one a lot. This here, the, uh, the Oblation spell, is uh, pretty neat because it's all about culling dice and double glory and such. But again, the one I like the most here is you can cast a spell to cull a creature die from your use pile, and you get double glory for that. This is an amazing spell and can win you the game. This is a very dangerous spell. Other players need to watch this one. It's pretty neat. Um, so I, I like that one a lot. Then we have the Voodoo Doll, which I like to challenge you to look, not think of that as a ghost symbol upside down. That kept throwing us off there. But the Voodoo is kind of a something that hurts your opponents, the different voodoo dolls. And, for example, this one here, when he's destroyed, you can call a die to bring him back. Oh, I'm sorry, not that one. Uh, this guy here, when he does damage, he destroys the people that he does damage to. Hoorah! Of course, we need some more cheap dice, and the imps are a way to add cheapness to the deck. The imps have just special abilities where they can get out quickly. These are immune to spells. And these give you extra quiddity, which is great. So you have cheap uh, amps to get out plus quiddity. Then we have the Gnome Barbarians. And I challenge you to look at this die. It's supposed to be a Gnome Barbarian, but come on now. That's a bull uh, with the horns. But I think, I, I'm sure they picked Gnome Barbarians because there are so many of them in fantasy. Uh, but these guys are, are pretty cool. They, the one I like is the guy who gets plus two attack and plus two defense if he's by himself. So if he's out there, and one of them has immunity, so that's pretty neat. Then the Mighty Lord of the Quarry, uh, with a key die, and uh, seems like he's a, uh, a, a nice lord <laughs> coming out and leading people. But here, this the, the cheapest version of him actually is the one I like the best, because he gives all the level 1 creatures plus 2 attack and plus, one, plus 2 defense. So very useful, and if you roll the guy with an asterisk, he gives it to everybody on your team, which can be very useful and very powerful. The trolls. These guys are guys that are going to be going after your opponent. Uh, you can destroy. 
Here you can destroy a level 3 creature. Here when you summon them, everyone has to rotate their creatures one level down. Here he culls, he forces people to cull dice. You can force people to throw their basic dice from their use piles back in their bags. Very annoying if you want to play an interactive game. The trolls are great for that. And then the best, of course, we save for last, and that's the Seraphs. Uh, very powerful angel creatures, and my favorite is the mighty Heavenly Seraph. And when she is in your ready area, period, when you capture a creature die, you can capture an additional one for free. So she lets you buy an extra die as long as it's cheaper. So if you happen to have seven and you buy one at seven, you can get one at six. And that's a pretty good, pretty cool deal. I like her a lot. Okay, a couple more things before we get into this. This game came, comes with a brand new rule book. If you pull that out, we can show people. Uh, and in this rule book, it basically replaces the old rule book. They change a few minor things, not so much on exactly how to play, but just a clarification. And it's a much nicer rule book. They even have these sheets in the back that you can copy if you want. Uh, yeah, and see the dice aren't falling out either. But a, a couple things. One, this introduces two optional rules, which I think uh, if you play Quarriers at all, or if you thought Quarriers was a bit too random, these two optional rules change the game immensely. One of the rules is this. Instead of buying one dice per turn, you can buy two. Easy enough. So you can buy two cheap dice or one expensive die. That changes the game a little. But even more changing it is a, is a rule that allows, that, that requires you, when you score a die, the die that you cull must be the die you just scored. So you want to score that big point dragon? Well, great, go ahead, do it. But now you have to get rid of it out of your deck. That really changes up the game and adds more strategy. Do you want to go for a bunch of small dice that will score fast and you call them big deal, buy them back? Or do you want to go for big dice, but you know, see you later, alligator, once you score it? Or maybe you won't even score a die. You just put it out, kill other people's dice, and then use your smaller dice to score. It adds a lot more strategy to the game, and I really like those two rules. This game itself, though, this expansion, let's go, Melody. What did you think of the new monsters and things? I really like this game. The two mo the two characters I liked the most were the um the angel, the seraph, uh -huh, and the voodoo doll. Not because it's a voodoo doll, but because it's, it kills others very easily. <laughs> My two favorite is the troll, which hurts everybody else. I really liked how he comes in, and I liked those imps. I liked the fact. Especially we got the promo card that WizKids has with the multiplying imps and you can get a whole bunch of them out there. And I really like the new spell. The new spell that lets you double points is, wow, that is so cool. But I like the fact that all these options are here. I like the new advanced rules. This, if you own Quarriers, you could have skipped the first expansion. You really could have. You, don't, you didn't need to get that one. If you liked it, it's more dice, great. But this is a must buy, in my opinion. Final opinion. Awesome. <laughs> All right. My final opinion is great game, adds more dice, lots of fun, tons of variations. Quarriers is still a game that's going quite strong. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. <laughs>